As a researcher, the main thing meaningful to me is, uh, you know, when we do research and we come up with a method on managing a pest, and then it gets disseminated to extension officers and farmers, and then they practice that into good use, and then they give you feedback that, uh, okay, whatever you told us, we tried, and uh, we have improved our uh, farming, you know, it, it gives you good, uh, that satisfaction that uh, your advice or your recommendation made difference in lives of someone. Aradna's project has been really responsive to the needs of Fiji. Um, as you know, the pandemic has impacted the economies of the Pacific, and then Fiji is not any different. Market chains and value chains um, being limited because of restrictions to travel. Um, families lose their income and, and now are unemployed because of businesses closing. And with that, uh, there are um, restrictions as well for them to find food um, and to buy food. So the project of Aradna has been really helping households to produce food on their own that is nutritious and accessible and that has been really a game changer as I see it. Well I was looking for um, advice uh, on my way to uh, the research center in Cornivia and I think I bumped into uh, Aradma and she mentioned that probably we can work together through a program she's working on. I've always have uh, passionate for both rugby and, and farming, and I was looking for ways to incorporate both. Looking at the rise and the level of youth unemployment, why don't we use rugby as a tool, as a vehicle, while they, they're training? They can come and learn planting their own food, and on uh, that sense, that they can create employment for themselves, like business farming. So with seedling, you, you, the only thing you have to do is just go and plant in and look after it. That's, that's the, you know, the hard job's been done by the, the ministry. And thanks to, you know, we work well with Mr. Radna and the team. You know, amazing job they did. We couldn't keep up with the seedling they've been giving it to us. I was just being thankful that uh, now, looking at it, uh, we can reach more. Oh, definitely help a lot uh, with a fam family because uh, we, uh, we love our tomatoes and so growing our own uh, will definitely help my family. I'm planning to uh, secure a large piece of land, a acre something uh, to start off and uh, slowly building from there and um, for a bigger farm. It has uh, made it a bit more easier for us from uh, going to the market each day to buy vegetables. Uh, it made it a bit more easier for us, harvesting from our own garden. I'm looking at uh, planting a bit more to sell in future. So now that we've uh, given out all the seeds, the seedlings, um, now we will go into the farms and uh, study the uh, soil health, soil nutrient of the soil, and also the plant health. Uh, we work very closely with uh, the ICM project, which is also under ACR funded, and we have developed a plant pest pathogen and weeds app. So we are encouraging and we are also telling our backyard growers to use that app. Yeah, so we hope that uh, at the end of the project we will have uh, more training uh, resource for them and also that connection, the, uh, the network that they have with the ministry and with projects like ACR with SPC. Uh, we could have more connection, more networking and we hope that we can take this project uh, further on. Uh, not only now that we are looking at just pocket of farmers around the the Central Western Division, but we'll be able to take it up uh, even to the maritime areas.